kings again youtubers or whoever is actually watching this um like and subscribe you get uh, some notifications when uh, i upload a new video it's been a while since i've put another video up it's uh what two ish weeks now um the reason for that is, is i've been working on the, the truck uh i've got Got the other box kind of eh, on the bench. I haven't started, it's just on the bench. Um, but today we are going to bring in uh, that thing. So, as you can see, I've got my cable, goes out to the truck, goes from the truck to that. And then from that, we go to my 10,000 pound winches, which is now hooked to my battery, which I think is completely spanked, and then to the charger, which is actually supplying power to the battery, which is supplying power to that. And then I run, where is it? Uh, it'll on a remote. Clever, eh? So, yeah, we're doing time lapse as well. It's clicking away. So, yeah, we're gonna drag this bitch in. We're gonna see who wins the tug of war. Me, with the 10,000 pound winch, or the all-wheel drive Santa Fe. I think I'm gonna win. Um, so yeah, we'll get at it and uh, we'll see what happens. I win. It came in kicking and screaming, uh, apparently one of the back brakes on the other side is a little stuck from being uh with the e-brake being applied uh the rotors a little rusted a little bit so it was kicking and screaming for a little bit and then, and then it freed itself up and kind of started rolling in so there's a big skid mark outside where one tire is just like yeah no i'm not having it but that winch does not give any shits it will yank the living hell out of something and it will not give up the only time it gives up is when the battery is spanked and uh, it doesn't want to run. So I had to flip over to another battery and uh, steal it out of another car that I have out back. And then, yeah, then after that, it just didn't give two shits. So this is going to be a multi-part video. Uh, we're going to yard the engine out of this one. And uh, we are going to put this donor in. Well, it needs uh, a timing chain at this point in time, but uh, there's some stuff missing up front. Uh, some, you know, important bits. So I'm going to cheat the system. Since this is actually an SGI write-off, uh, it came from uh, what, two or three hours away from where I live. Uh, the guy had it pulled down because this engine doesn't start. It just turns over. It doesn't want to do anything. So I don't know if that was in relation to the accident the thing suffered or it has some other safety feature that activated when the car was in the accident to prevent, you know, fires and whatnot. So if the fuel pump has been shut off or whatever like that is. I don't know just yet. I'm going to poke around maybe a little bit today and see if I can't get the thing running. Um, see if it has spark fuel, you know, the whole shebang. See if it's got all that. And uh, if it does and it just still doesn't want to start, well, we've got plan B over there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, at this moment in time, it needs a new AC condenser, a rad, a new core support. So all that shit's garbage anyway. So I'm just going to cheat the system. I'm going to keep the one good headlight and then take the rest of it off. And then just go... Out goes the engine and then just put the donor in so right now I'm talking to the, the customer where uh, I agreed to do the portion of this in relation to the truck that's back there and uh, uh, we're hashing out some deals here to uh, for the repairs that are needed for the truck the repairs that are needed for this and then the parts that are needed for that so there is some wheeling and dealing going on here but at this point in time i'm uh willing to pay for half of the timing chain to do this 
um, for services rendered, like it's, I normally do $500 for, um, an engine job. I'm charging like six for this one cause I've got to do some extra stuff. So I've soaked up some of the costs for the timing chain cause it's a $300 timing chain apparently in this thing. It's $180 for the chain and then you got to get two tensioners beyond that. So yeah, it's just, it fucking sucks. So I don't enjoy doing any timing chains in these things. But I got to do one in that because that one rattles, apparently. So we're just going to do it that way for now. So, yeah, I'm in cahoots with uh, him to get the extra half on that. And uh, we'll get the parts for that. I'll disassemble that and put it together. And then hoop it into old silver here. And uh, hopefully it will run. That's providing there's nothing else that the ECU is looking at and going, nope, we're not doing that. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pop this thing open. I'm going to throw old R2-D2 over there onto it and see if I can't get it to life. And if it doesn't, well, then we get the old standby and hopefully that will actually fire up when I put it in. Because at this point in time, I have no idea whether this thing wants to run or not. I don't know. It just turns over and just kind of goes, oh, fuck you. So, that's where we're at today. Um, yeah, so, time to get at it. So, welcome back. This is what I've gotten so far. I've got the battery box out, i got the air box out, and cleaned off the front end of it. And that's what's left of the red and the fan support and the condenser, which is more or less destroyed. So... I think the way this is going to happen is it's just going to pick it up and out she goes. I got to dislodge it from the, the transmission. There's like eight bolts there. There's two inches of gap between the front of the engine and the frame rail. And according to that engine, there should be about an inch left over for the flywheel and the crank sensor uh, ring. So I can move it forward or yeah, move it off the transmission this way hit the frame and then basically just lift it right up there's a mount here i gotta take off get the starter out from behind it the exhaust the exhaust on the other side and i should be able to just pick it up but i gotta disconnect all the wires <clears throat> but for today i am done i am all partied out for doing this so i'll continue on this a little later um and i'll do that during the week as well i'll get this freaking thing done right now it's pissing down rain so i'm gonna go inside my joints are hurting so we're gonna pick this up another day check you later